And tense moments in Fullerton tonight as bank employees and customers are evacuated. SWAT teams in tactical gear, guns drawn after a man said he had a bomb and said he would detonate it. A few minutes later, those officers opened fire, killing the suspect. NBC4's Macy Jenkins live in Fullerton with details from police and reaction now from witnesses. Macy. Hi, Colleen. Well, quite a, a scary scene for all of the people who live and work around this area. Now, Fullerton police had confirmed just before uh, 10 o'clock that, yes, there was a shooting, but they got the all clear around that 10 o'clock mark to go in and start their investigation from the bomb squad, saying everything was safe, that the area was safe, the bank was safe. Now they can confirm that a man died, the attempted robber died during that, that shoot-off or that police police shooting um, and we can see we're not going to show you but we can see the body still on the ground in front of the bank outside in the parking lot just behind a fence watch as the Orange County Sheriff's Department bomb squad moves in Tuesday evening after a call just after five about a robbery in progress at the Wells Fargo Bank on Baston Cherry Road in Fullerton, roughly five miles north of Disneyland. Witnesses inside of the bank uh, stated the suspect produced what appeared to be an explosive device. Fullerton police arrived minutes later and started attempts to evacuate the bank's employees. Israel Lopez says his wife works as the bank's manager and was inside when the would-be robber walked in. I was actually coming back from Placentia, dropping off my son baseball practice. You know, I got a text from her that, you know, they had a bomb threat at the bank. It's unclear how long the man was inside, but at one point, officers sent in a bomb robot. When the man walked outside, police say the officer-involved shooting occurred. But it's unclear who fired first or whether the man had a firearm in addition to the alleged explosive device. Eventually, all bank employees were safely evacuated from the business. No officers or employees were injured, including Lopez's wife, much to his relief. So I'm waiting, man. I, just, I know she got taken away somewhere else. She can't really say much. They're probably being interviewed right now. Fullerton police say the details are limited as this is still an active investigation. We don't know whether the man, the would-be robber, had an actual explosive device or a firearm himself. We do know, though, that he has been confirmed dead. Now, the area that is near the parking lot and just to the north, I would say, of this bank is still closed off. It's part of the crime scene, but the major roads around the bank have been reopened after being closed for several hours, including a busy rush hour. Reporting live in Fullerton tonight, Macy Jenkins, NBC4 News.